All right, the Jensen Beach camera this afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Look at all these clouds coming around. They're starting to build. We're going to see increasing clouds and increasing chances for rain as we make our way through the rest of the afternoon here. We're going to talk about what could be the next name storm. We talked about it a little bit at the top of this newscast, Tropical Depression number seven, which could be Tropical Storm Fiona later today. We've got a little catching up to do when it comes to rainfall. We'll get into that. And of course, we're going to take a look at your weekend weather. Let's go down to the tropics first here and take a look at tropical depression number seven. Here it is down here way, way out in the central Atlantic, very far away from us. And the latest update from National Hurricane Center winds uh, are at actually 35 miles per hour. It's moving west at 14 pressure, 1009 millibars, and it's going to move pretty slowly actually over the next few days, making its way over toward Hispaniola. By the time we get to the weekend, you'll see here this little sign here, the little circle with a hole in the middle. That's a tropical storm icon, so that means it could become a tropical storm later today and stay a tropical storm as it makes its way over toward Hispaniola. Keep our eyes on it for you. It looks like it will turn a little bit to the north and northeast after it moves toward Hispaniola. Many computer models have it turning up near the Bahamas or a little farther out into the Atlantic here. A couple models have it going straight on through through the northern Caribbean right now. None of the models have any kind of even a little bit of an impact for Florida, but it's going to be close enough to us that it's important that we keep our eyes on it as it continues to move to the west. Here's a look at that front that's dropping down through Florida, almost in the northern parts of our viewing area here. We've got no cold air on the way, but it's really stirring up the atmosphere and giving us higher chances for rain. We've got a few showers and storms already developing down through Deerfield Beach, down through Boca, up around Del Rey and off to the east here. Quite a few showers and thunderstorms developed. Let's run future track here later on this afternoon scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms possible across our area. Mostly heavy rain. That'll be the biggest threat. Then as we get into the overnight hours tonight, this is 2.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. Still the chance for overnight rain. So if your dogs don't like thunderstorms, let's say, maybe prepare them ahead of time. Maybe put on their little thunder shirt before we get into the overnight hours tonight. And then as we get into tomorrow afternoon, another round of showers and storms scattered to numerous. Same goes for Friday. And then some slightly drier air starts to move in as we head into the weekend, giving us lower chances for rain. So over the next few days, 60% chance for rain today, 60% tomorrow, 50% Friday, 40% Saturday, and about a 30% chance for rain as we get into Sunday. High temperatures have been in the 90s for about 74 days in a row now. It's possible with the extra cloud cover around and some rain cooled air, we might actually be closer to our average highs by tomorrow and Friday, which are in the upper 80s and not in the 90s. Again, that's 60 to 70% chance for rain today and tomorrow, 50% chance on Friday, and then lower chances for rain over the weekend and into the beginning of next week. That's a look at your first warning forecast.